Hello and welcome to Sword Wall Gaming. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to paint the Aversa Assassin from the Execution Force box set. The miniature has been primed with a black spray primer as the majority of the model will actually be black. Once primed, the metal areas of the miniature can be painted with lead belcher. Following the base layer, a wash of Nuln oil can be applied to all of the metal areas. We will now be base coating the brass areas such as the weapon hilt and also the wings on the bolt pistol as well with brass scorpion. Once the brass scorpion has been painted, we'll now be washing these areas with Agrax Earthshade. The final step of painting the metal areas is to apply a thin highlight of Runefang Steel to both the brass and steel areas. The next area we'll be looking at are the armor plates and the backpack of the Averse Assassin and we'll be base coating these with Mephiston Red. Following the base layer we'll now be washing the red areas with Karaberg Crimson. Once the wash has dried, I'll now be layering the armor plates with Evil Sun Scarlet, leaving the dark red visible in the recesses. The next step is to apply a thin highlight of Wild Rider Red to the edges of the armor. The final step for painting the armor plates is to apply a th extreme highlight to the very corners and upper edges of the armor of Fire Dragon Bright. Now that the armor is complete, we'll now be moving on to the pouches and straps, and for this we'll be base coating with Rhinox Hide. The next step is to wash over the straps and the pouches with Agrax Earthshade. Finally, the pouches can be highlighted with Baneblade Brown.
The next areas to be painted are the skull helmet and iconography across the assassin, and for this we'll be base coating with Rakoff flesh. With the base layer completed, we'll now be washing over these areas with Seraphim Sepia. Now that the skulls have been shaded, they can now be highlighted with Ushabti Bone. The next areas to be painted are the Assassin's Synth Suit, and for this I'll be using a highlight of Dark Reaper. Now for the areas that you'll need to highlight, you should probably take a look at the uh, White Dwarf Codex of the Assassins or on the, white, on the Games Workshop website. Following the first highlight, a second highlight should be made using Femrisian Grey, and this should be an even thinner highlight in the middle of the areas that you highlighted in the last step. With the suit completed, I'll now be highlighting the sword sheath and the weapon stock with Dawnstone. Using Administratum Grey, we'll now be highlighting the areas that we did in the previous step with an even thinner highlight. For the vials on the Neuro Gauntlet, the Executioner Pistol and the vials on the backpack, we will be base coating these with Caliban Green. We will now be painting a layer of Warpstone Glow over the areas that we previously painted, however we should leave the Incubi Darkness showing through the recesses. The green areas can then be highlighted with a small amount of moot green. With the vials complete, we'll now be moving on to the glass of the Sentinel Ray, the eyes and also the scope of the pistol. And first we'll be base coating with Calidor Sky. Once the base coat of Calidor Sky has dried, we'll now be highlighting with Baharoth Blue. The final step for painting the optics is to apply a small dot of Ceramite White to the centre of the eye lenses and the Sentinel Ray and also the upper left corner of the optics on the gun. Now 
With the assassin completed, I'll now be moving on to his base, and for the bottom sections of it, I'll be painting these with Mechanicus Standard Grey. Once the base layer is dried, I'll now be washing over these areas with non oil. Following the wash, a dry brush of Dawnstone should then be applied to the sand around the base and also the edges of the bottom section. A final dry brush of Administratum Grey can then be applied, paying attention to the corners and the upper edges. For the bulk of the wall panel, this can be base coated with Celestra Grey. Once an even base coat has been completed, a wash of Agrax Earthshake can then be used. The final step for painting the wall panel is to apply a dry brush of Ulthran Grey to the edges of the panel. And here we have the completed assassin glued to his base. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know, and I will also make tutorials for the other three assassins. However, in the meantime, you can actually use a lot of the techniques expressed in this tutorial for painting those, such as those to paint the synth suit and also the metal areas, for example. As always, thanks for watching, and goodbye.